hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel uh, so today we are going to uh, discuss about the tools which are available in the corellium uh, first we are going to uh, see about see this is the gui once uh, um, you created the devices this will looks like that and you, we will see what are the tools that are available over here uh, the first one is connect you have to connect uh, see after you multiple ways to connect the first easy way you have to connect via vpn for that you have to download the ovpn file with the open uh, gui connect open gui and there you have to imp uh, import your uh, profile and then you have to connect it then you what you need to do you have to use adb connect now this this one adb connect 10 dot then the device would get connected so this is the lot of options are there so i want to explain only the connect see here the device comes here this is the virtual device and then the next one is files okay what are files then you can browse the device file system directly from this ui okay you can navigate search and manage all the uh, files all the device files over here Okay, Corellium gives you the control over the device file systems that allows you to upload, download, delete, modify and search for the files. See here if I want to upload, if I click here and if I want to upload anything then I can directly upload it. Uh, see you are in the root directory. How I am navigate? So I want to search for the data, uh, data, 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 data. Then you can go for my application is sad, good. See, I just navigated. I'm just uh, looking for the shared preferences. See how I have navigated over here this GUI. In the similar way, you perform via the command prompt in the right, right root. You have to enter the ADB shell, get the root, and then you, you have to navigate from data, data, then OS shared preferences. In that way, you can directly use the uh, GUI of this uh, file tool. Okay, this will be very useful. Then you can click it. This uh, after once you click this users.xml, this file will get downloaded to your local machine. You can view what it is present. Okay, so you can upload whatever you want. For example, Frida server if you want to upload. Uh, since you don't have to do it here because Frida is already available, uh, you can uh, suppose if you want to uh, upload any other files, you can directly upload it by clicking this. Uh, button okay and you can modify what are the permissions that you want like see here the permissions are here if you want to modify the permission click this uh, you will be able to modify the permission of this file okay so that is the next thing then with this we will move for the next tool next section that is apps see you can manage install apps from the U ui or like adb or id but corellium app browser that facilitates loading or removing and running the applicate applications directly in your from your browser see here this is like applications that are already present inside the device suppose if i want to install android application so click here i want to go for Android APK, open it. See bottom, uh, it, it gets app installed. See, see here app installed from APK. So in this way, you will be, if I want to check it, Android good. See here, this application has been installed. It's a very easy to install the application over here. Okay, there is very nice functionality uh, it provides. If you want to uninstall, if you click this, you will get uninstalled. Okay and uh, and if you want to launch the application this will get launched from here it's ni nice functionality provided by the corellium and with that we will move for the if i click home this will go to the home page then we will go for the network so what is network this network monitor captures and presents and monitors the traffic network traffic transparently uh, that 
defeating the certificate pinning. What it does, it captures all the network traffic for the native files as well as the applications with a single click, okay, that capture the HTTP as well as the HTTPS traffics. Okay, if I click start monitoring, this start monitoring the applications. So whatever I do, this will get collect information and provide it to me. Okay, I, I'm not doing it now. I'm just explaining you the features. Okay, and next tool that we are going to see is code trace. So code trace is um, like the we can quickly browse the uh, file system and deeply inspect the state of the device with the holistic views of system calls. So I'm not deep dive into this. Uh, so we, we will skip for a mobile application pen testing for now, then we'll go then next and uh, we'll move for the settings. In settings, we, we will see the what is the name of the applications and other things. Uh, here we will see about the Frida part now. It's a very good like Frida how you will install in your uh, Windows machine like I'm talking about the Windows machine. Uh, you will have the host machine and then you, you will have the physical device connector. Uh, you have to uh, download the server and push it to the Android device. Then the host will run in the your Windows machine. But here it's already installed. You don't have to do anything. It's very easy, uh, like you have two things, console and scripts, two ways. What scripts here, you can upload any scripts directly. If you click here, you will be able to get the scripts. You can download scripts from outside, uh, like whatever from the websites you can download, uh, maybe emulator bypass or maybe uh, uh, SSL pinning, everything you can do and you, you will see the console over here. Okay, so select the process or oh, which process I want to be uh, I want to like I am just typing Andro Andro see here I am just clicking this Andro code attach the process so I got this console here now I want to upload my uh, script see emulator bypass just click this you will it will get executor no no uh, let me uh, you have to execute it execute it see this won't execute it now I'm just for your understanding I'm just showing you how the scripts are work, working we can modify the scripts okay see the, the console Frida is hooked and this will get activated it's a very simple process I'm just unhook this uh, so in this way you can utilize the Frida very simple and next thing you can use objection as well from your machine uh, download the uh, objection you, you have to use the version 3.8.8 version 3.8.10 uh, version of Python and then use the objection pip install uh, objection command and then try to use objection you can directly connect it over here and before that you have to connect with the using the VPN so we have seen here right uh, using the VPN you should connect then you have to use your ADB connect after that you, you you should use objection okay that's the uh, thing the next is console this is the main part like how we will get this console see uh, once you get the adb shell via windows like we'll get the root of the the shell of the mobile device uh, see here if i click ls okay We are the root. We will be able to navigate. If I click LS, you will see all the folders. If I want to move to uh, any particular folder or file, then I would be C CD, data, then CD, data, data, then list. All the applications data is there. Now my target is Android. Now I want to move to OAS. Okay, now list. See, this many files are present. I'll clear my screen and show you. List. 
see all these things I, I'm not going to uh, open any of the files over here I'm just telling you how the console works this it is very similar to our like you no know, uh, ADB shell which we access via uh, in the Windows machine or maybe with the uh, Mac okay so here we have the console we don't have to use any ADB shell or anything else it directly connected so already all settings has been um, uh, no fixed like configured behind the screen here you can directly access it okay so we'll go with that route okay so that the use of console you can perform anything you can see you can see the files and you can see anything else and we, we are not going to see any sensors it mentioned like battery status and uh, camera and microphone uh, environmental location motion and everything is there the snapshots what is snapshots okay snapshots are uh, we will like a virtual machine we will take a snapshot right uh, we just pull the uh, fresh machine for example once I create this device I'll just make a copy of this current status nothing is installed and after that I install what the vulnerable applications or whatever applications I do have then I will uh, if I something ha happens if there is access you issues or any any uh, chaos happened any configuration issues happened then I can reinstall or re uh, I can res uh, replace that with my fresh screenshot that is I have which I have saved earlier that is a snapshot okay and we have masked okay mobile application security test and run an automated vulnerability test on your uh, devices but this this requires four cores and I want to tell you here about the cores used by the application Android app, uh, devices use two cores but iOS devices above seven versions they do consume six cores okay six cores here it, it use two cores okay so this is all about the tools uh, I hope you will get a lot of uh, familiarity about the tools uh, it will be really helpful for you I have covered it for Android so it, it would be similar for a iOS as well if I get time I will definitely make another video for the iOS so uh, thank you thank you all for watching my video uh, I hope this helps you please do like my video subscribe to my channel